Dad? Yep. There's, uh, something I want to tell you. What is it, son? Well, Dad, uh, I think I'm transgender. And I love other men. You're not getting my Bud Light, Johnny. For the great taste that won't fill you up and let you down, make it a Bud Light. Dan? Forget it, Johnny. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Recording. It's been an absolutely wild couple of days with everything going on with Bud Light, but now Dylan Mulvaney is speaking out, lashing back out at people who would criticize the now $5 billion plus disaster that a single TikTok ad has generated for Bud Light as they continue to have their boycott gain legs. This has been one of the most interesting topics that have been covered on my channel in a long period of time. So thank you all for continuing to leave likes on the video. Do that. <laughs> Sharing the videos, please do that. Getting involved in the comments, please do that. Um, because we have to pick one target and stick with it. And while there's uh, innumerable, innumerable companies getting woke every single day, we can't change our focus. We have to make it hurt. Uh, otherwise, these idiots will never change their ways and they'll continue to disrespect their customers. And in this particular case, uh, now their little sponsor person is uh, hitting back and very upset. And uh, before we get into that, I just want to give a quick shout out to this video sponsor who doesn't hate their customers, Sheath. Huge shout out to this video sponsor. That's right, Sheath. These boxers are designed to keep your balls off your legs. Sheath has three individual compartments to keep everything down there separate and cool and comfortable. And hey, since they've been a long time sponsor, I've heard from many of you who have tried out Sheath and really love it. They were invented by a US Army soldier who came up with the idea for Sheath during his second tour in Iraq, where it was hot as heck and his boys needed to breathe. And on top of all sorts of awesome designs for Sheath, they've added all sorts of winter items, hoodies, gator necks, and all sorts of base layers. Head on over to the link in the description and pin comment down below. Use my promo code to save and support the channel and keep everything nice, cool, and dry. Hey, I know it's a weird thing, fellas and ladies, to be thinking about changing up your undergarments, but uh, all I can say is that they're very, very well liked. I've been working with them for many, many years and you've got almost nothing at all at risk. And uh, they're another company that loves their customers and uh, doesn't get woke either. So it's a great product by a great company. Uh, check out the link in the description. They don't understand me. Trans activist Dylan Mulvaney hits back at critics of Bud Light campaign as beer giants parent company Anheuser-Busch suffers $3 billion loss. And by the way, that number has grown significantly as I've kept like a real-time tracker. Uh, the stock is down 1.81% today. It's kind of trying to climb back a little bit. We'll have to see. Of course, it's down 4.5% over the past five days since all this started. And that means, I mean, you're talking about serious billions of dollars and uh, what we don't know yet, which we'll find out in a few days, is actual once the sales numbers come out, which they do, uh, that's going to be the, where the rubber meets the road if people really did stop buying it. Now, uh, Dylan Mulvaney has hit back at critics of uh, their Bud Light campaign, insisting they don't understand her and have made her a target because she's newly trans. Yeah, right. Okay, this individual is making millions of dollars. And by the way, let me be very, 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 very clear, friends. Have you left a like on the video yet? Please do. This is not a Dylan Mulvaney problem. There's no point in taking out hate or spending any energy on Dylan Mulvaney because there'll be another Dylan Mulvaney in a week, okay? This is about Bud Light disrespecting their customers. This is about corporations in this country caring more about their woke ESG scores and all this kind of stuff than, you know, actually thanking and supporting their customers that built them in the first place. In an appearance on the Rosie O'Donnell podcast, Mulvania, who has just completed the 365 day of girlhood, the reason I think I'm so, I'm an easy target because I'm new to this. Actually, you know why people, uh, 
you know, are very suspicious is because Dylan Mulvaney feels like a plant. Hand selected by the United States government to visit Joe Biden, making, I mean, this individual has pretended to be a woman for a few hundred days and has generated tens of millions of dollars. Okay. Why wouldn't everyone do this? I'll let everyone make fun of me for a year for 10 million bucks and never have to work again. They haven't had any life altering surgeries. They had a little bit of facial reconstruction surgery. Big whoop. I think going after a trans woman that they've been doing this for like 20 years is a lot more difficult. No, it isn't. I think maybe they think there's some sort of chance with me, but what's their goal? Well, people don't want their corporations to uh, spit on their existing customers. That's a pretty clear goal. These people don't understand me and anything that I say or do somehow gets taken out of context and used against me. It's so sad because everything I try to put out is so positive. Well, you know what I'm positive about is that, at least in my opinion, Dylan Mulvaney is living a life, uh, living a lie. That is, Dylan Mulvaney is practicing literal woman face, which is, I don't believe that Dylan Mulvaney is as committed to the cause as Dylan Mulvaney wants you to think that they are. That's just my opinion. I don't know. But uh, maybe go get that bottom surgery, Dylan. Then maybe... Maybe some people will, uh, you know, more people might believe that you're committed to the cause and that you're not just going to Party City and then making millions of dollars. It's trying to connect with others and maybe don't, they don't understand me. Uh, it's to make people laugh or to make a kid, excuse my mic pop there, a kid feel seen. While Melvaney has shrugged off criticism, this thing appears to be more lasting for Anheuser-Busch Bud Light's parent company that has lost $3 billion in market value in recent days. By the way, it's up to $5 billion now. Uh, of course, Dylan pictured wearing the same outfit she was wearing, he was wearing just a few days before as well. Uh, the beer giant was worth $132 billion on March 31st. It's highest market cap all year after a string of well-received ads like the Super Bowl commercial featuring Miles Teller and his wife. I don't know who that is. Mulvaney's partnership dropped on April 1st. By the way, since April 1st, since the 1st of April, since the day this ad dropped, Budweiser has been terrified. Budweiser has not posted a single tweet, has not liked a single comment, hasn't posted to Facebook, haven't posted anything to Facebook, haven't posted anything to Instagram, hasn't done a single thing. By April 3rd, Bud Light fans started sharing their distaste for it, Kid Rock kicked their rage up a gear when he posted a video taking care of some Bud Light cans the very same day. Then Tra country stars Travis Tritt and John Rich publicly denounced the brand. There were also rumors of depleted sales over Easter weekend. Yesterday, Anheuser-Busch stock dipped to $64.96, wiping $3 billion from the company's total value. The marketing team that oversaw the campaign, including VP of Marketing Alyssa gordon Heinerscheid, remains in place. Anheuser-Busch is also standing by the campaign. In a statement after the initial blowback, the company tried to claim conservative, calm conservative consumers with a statement. This is such a classic example of just having no flippin' idea uh, whatsoever about your customers. Like, they, that you have so much money that you've been allowed to succeed in spite of yourself for so many years that you forgot how you you forgot how you got there. I mean, that's why I push with coffee brand coffee as, as hard as I do. You know, everyone gets annoyed in my videos, but I'm trying to start something here that, you know, and that will always remember its first customer and its last customer and everyone in between. I think that's lost in modern day uh, corporations. Now, what's interesting is here, Dylan Mulvaney responds to critics of Bud Light, I'm an easy target. Well, this is part of it. By the way, there's a lot of people on the left that perhaps correctly have pointed out, look, it's these boycotts. It's all the hullabaloo is the reason that the left keeps doing this. The corporations keep doing this. And to an extent, they are actually correct. However, 
it's because, in my opinion, most people, at least on uh, not on the left, people in the center or, or conservatives, they move on too fast. They have to make it hurt and make it hurt for a good long time, months. Okay. Now, am I going to be making Bud Light this, Bud Light that videos three times a day in a month? Almost certainly not. But I find, I still feel like it's my job and it's my viewer's job to spread the message and really make this one hurt. That's what other you know commentators have decided to do. You know, you pick a target and you make it hurt. You don't give up. You keep telling your friends and family about it. You keep telling um, you know people at the pub who are drinking it. And then this week when we get the actual sales numbers, we're gonna see, and I suspect that there will be a significant depletion based on multiple pubs that have reported as high as 70% drop in sales. It's a social media phenomenon. It's a views bonanza because people care. People are interested in this and people have had enough. So if you've had enough, make sure to leave a like on this video. You help share it out there. And uh, thanks again to this video sponsor, Sheath. Absolutely check them out. They've stuck with me for many, many years. And they're yet another company that I completely trust to not, you know, not get hashtag woke. Uh, and uh, they really love their customers too. So uh, Dylan, don't act like a victim. You're getting rich. You're becoming a multimillionaire over this. Uh, I'm not exactly going to feel bad for you. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stick to it, friends, and we'll talk to you again real soon.